What's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 Caprice with another video. Today guys we are back in the tow truck. We're gonna be doing a tow from right here, uh local sound shop here in Joliet. Gonna be um 96 and Paula says that we're gonna be oh, somebody call it. <laughs> um we're gonna be taking it to Ace Mobile guys. We haven't been to Ace Mobile in a while, so we're gonna be taking it to get the a full detail stuff so um, we're here outside. Let me give him a call. Make sure that he's here to pick up the uh, Impala. And then I'm going to show you guys the car. So let me uh, text him real quick that we're here. Well, guys, I just texted him. Let me load this bed down so uh, we can load the car up but I'll show you guys the car either yeah I'll show it to you guys right now let me uh, let me just put this bed down <whistles> things sound good What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? What you end up doing with this car here? Just uh, three batteries, amp install, the music basically. Yeah. Did Doors. you do anything crazy in the back or no? Mm, no. no ways. So you want to explain like what you be doing here? Like with all the music, music. anything like custom doors, kicks, consoles, trunk, full trunks, anything with music. Okay. You got a page you can show so they can. Or where they can reach you at? Loud Junkie Customs, basically. This is Loud Junkie on Facebook. I ain't got no Instagram or any other. You got no Instagram, nah, man. You need an Instagram, bro. I ain't got none of that. I'm barely getting with the social media. Okay, okay. A little slow, but it's getting there. Yeah, just check me out on Loud Junkie, basically. Loud Junkie, guys, on Facebook. He's located in Joliet. Um, he goes by appointments, right? Only appointments. Only appointments. Only appointments. He does everything. Be ready. Don't have your car saying, I'll be there. Once the appointment's set, it's set. Now, do you get equipment for them or they got to get their own or how does that Both. work? Both. Either okay. I can get the equipment or you come with the equipment, we'll get you set up like that. So you do everything from like anything with music, right? Yeah, anything with music. Custom uh, panels or anything yep. like that, yeah? Yeah. Uh, well, the doors, I'm still learning. But when it comes to, like I said, the console, the rear deck, the dashes, uh, kick panels, wiring, and anything that has to do with music, full on. That's it? Just music? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Well, if you guys are looking for somebody to do custom work, like a music, Loud Junkie on Facebook, hit him up. He's located in Joliet. Uh, you got work on, like they can see on uh, Facebook. A lot of it. So if y'all want to see his work, y'all can go check him out on Loud Junkie on Facebook. You guys can see his work more. He don't. He really didn't do much to this car to show you anything. He just kind of like did the re the factory replacement, right? Yeah, just factory replacement. Okay. Nothing special. All right. If you look at my page. I mean, you'll be impressed okay so yeah go <laughs> go check him out guys and we made it guys out here to ace mobile wash looks like ace got new wheels on the left yep sure did with the cadillac big floating cap nice nice all right where's this guy at so we can give him these keys of the impala gonna need a nice cleaning show you guys some of the suspension looks like it's got right tech is it yep 
Oh no, speed tag. Uh, let me show you. Speed tag suspension. Upper and lower control arms. I like these wheels. These are the. In order to take these off, you gotta spin this cap off, and then this big cap comes off. These are a three piece wheel. I think these are made by Savini. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Either Savini or. I think they are Savini's. Impala says replicas. Just got the QA1 trailing arms and coilovers. I don't know where we're in. Probably got an eight and a half. Let me see. Uh, yep, looks like an eight and a half. About to get that ace touch. Forget about hot. Want to lower it? Hey, just go. Bluetooth, bro. It's Bluetooth, bro. Hey, uh, when you bring it down, just just go straight down. Cause uh, it's too close over there to the right, and you're on camera, so you might scratch the wheel. Hopefully not on camera. We'll redo it. That's how you know he's working, cause he ain't got no uh, no slides. And there's a hole in the shoe. <laughs> it don't matter though. That's how you know you're working. You hear that can? You hear that can chop? Hey, wait! When a car does that, that's how you know it's running. You know? It's got you. Hey, it's got you feeling like a bubble head. Yes. Look at the engine. Ain't got all my fat moving. Yeah. Did you pop it? Holy It's dirty. That's why he's here. That's how I like him. I don't like when people bring their cars clean. You, you, you don't like them clean? No. It makes it boring, you know? There's nothing to do. Holy. Oh, God damn, I don't have a problem. It doesn't got them? No. For real? Yeah. Oh, they took the shocks off. Yeah, they're just missing the shocks. I don't know. I guess they forgot yeah. to put the shocks on. Nice 6 2, right? Hell yeah. Man, it's chopping nasty, too. It's chopping real nasty. I like all the good. You know, the only, I like it too a lot, but you just gotta keep up with it because yeah, it's yeah. hard to keep it, you know. Realistically, you gotta take all that shit apart to clean it. The right way. Yep. Yeah. It sucks because once it gets stained, it's bad. Like, yeah. it, like, like, all the, no. Yeah, like the once, like, they got them deep watermark this one, stain. This one's easy. You'll be able to polish it. Well, you can even take that off. Hell yeah. But I'm saying when you have those deep watermarks on it, the cooked water, they, those are hard to come. Oh, yeah. Supposedly, nice. they sell like this spray. I, I don't know if you've seen it. It, uh, it's heavy. Is it? Yeah, why? Because this is not the. That's the original one. Jeez. I like it. I, like I, it. I, I didn't even know it, was, it needed the, the shocks. I thought it had them. Nice little closet. Nice little closet. You like the stands on it? Yeah, it sits like my brother. I think my brother sits a little bit lower. It's missing the. Impala emblem trunk, the trunk one, guys. You can get them? No, I think that he got them. Yeah, he got them. He's just, um, what the compound is that? That's what your work consists of cleaning compound. It looks like he kind of outlined all the body lines. <laughs> so, how do you clean this, sir? There's a lot of tricks and trades that you can't tell. Oh, okay, hey. The goal is just to clean it. Damn, you got a Lamborghini yours here? Yeah, we, we ceramic coated this a couple months ago, but we came back. Um, kind of wash it up. We got the wheels freshly repainted. My, uh, I think I'm going to have enough ceramic coating those brands. How do you feel about ceramic coating wheels? Well, I know you're not gonna That's give a good answer. That, yeah, I'm not, I know no. you, you're not gonna give a good answer to that. So I'll just leave it at Realistically, that. Realistically, 
on a daily driver, I wouldn't waste my money. And that's me telling you, the, the man taking your money. On a daily driver, I wouldn't waste my money. If it's a show car that you're going to be washing once a, every couple of weeks, once a month, 100%. My experience with uh, ceramic coating wheels was a waste of yeah. money. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you're gonna if you're gonna drive it more than once, twice a week, forget it. I see you painted the whole shop, and you went crazy with the lights, huh? Yeah, all the well, all the lights are the same, but everything. You did not have all these. Yeah, everything. I just, and they just stand out now because of the black. You had these up here? All this. This is the first that I put up actually when I opened up. I Man, I don't remember those lights up there. <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Maybe because you're right, maybe the black. Yeah. So you painted the whole shop black. The whole shop went black. I took over the back section. I got more shop space now. Uh, oh, you do got more shop, but we can't go in there, guys, because it's got a big sign that says do not enter. Do not enter. So if you guys know how to read, it means don't enter. <laughs> so oh, you got an Impala right there. This is basically going to be like the. Well, obviously my trucks and then custom your cars once they're done. This is the section. Oh, this is like the finishing. Touching cars, you know what I'm saying? Like leaning on cars and everything. That's nice. The, the do not enter section. <laughs> yeah, you guys still got a Honda? This guy stays with a Honda. <laughs> I don't know how, but he always got a Honda. People in the comments be like, man, what's up with that Honda? I know. You, guys... you see the shop was white before, so we had the white one over there. Oh. We got a black shop, now we got the black Honda. And you guys love Honda. I always got to have a Honda to match the shop. You got the box Chevy right there without the box Chevy. Oh, I see. That's a good start. Now you need is the whole car. No, this is actually the one that was yeah, I remember. pieces. Yeah. I can tell by the mirror. Now it's coming together. Yeah. yeah these are all completely built. These can be built from a little bit of leather conditioner. They just needed a little love. But luckily, they weren't hurt none of that. So. Guys, I just found out also that Ace has a YouTube channel. So if y'all want to go uh, tune in... Um, He's going to be showing his work. It's the, right now, it's maybe like a channel where you want to put it at the end of the day just to put you to sleep. <laughs> Why? But it's going to get more interesting. I'm just starting. Here, put it up so they can see your I'm, YouTube channel. I'm just starting. So, you know, it's just, it's going to be a work in progress, but it's getting there. We're starting. That was the main thing to start. Ace Mobile Wash. So it's pretty simple. Hold Same on, name. let it. Ace Mobile Wash. Jeez. All right there. Ace Mobile it's, Wash. It's you got 3,800 subscribers yeah, yeah that's and good though 48 dollars <laughs> oh you're monetized yeah hey you I gotta mean, start somehow yeah i'm not i'm not consistent you know but i'm trying i'm trying to post I'm you're not trying. consistent I'm just bro it's post. easy like it, you know because you got a shop and you constantly do work i know uh you need to get yourself a camera like this what i, I got know, I, I like and that. get a tripod and you can just put it anywhere bro put it right there understand and they'll record you doing something that's like true. i could just record Bro, you don't even got to do it. The camera's going to do it. I know, that's you know? And then you can just edit or you can do small clips like foaming it. Yeah, doing I, a I just recently started trying to like throw little in stuff, you know. Little clips. I was like, working at first. Now I'm trying to make it a little, you know, somewhat interesting. I mean, look, you got $48. It's $48 that you didn't have. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Man, these vans are dope. I know, man. I want one so Did bad. you see the van that uh, your boy brought me? No, which one? Oh, yeah, 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 the older one. Man, that van, bro, was... He said that thing was, like, mint. Man, my kids didn't want me to get rid of it, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> now you got to get one of these. No, if I get one of these, this one's... They thought that one was dope. They see this. This uh, is, like, an upgraded version, yeah, you know? Oh, yeah. It's just... I don't know. I don't know. You, you had one of these? When, not you, but, like, your OGs never had one when you were younger? My dad had a different... Uh, Okay, I can't even remember what it was. It was a Ford. Equal line? Yeah. Oh, okay, but so you were a kid, right? Your dad had one, and like when you're in the back, it just felt we like a. That, right? Like yeah. the open space. So yeah, I feel yeah. like that's what my kids, like, that's the same experience they, yeah, they get, so. you know? Like when they go in and they be like, wow, like you can yeah. go over there, go in. Not supposed to, but you know. Yeah. Who I've, listens, right? I've done one with a with a PlayStation Five in it, with the big ass TV. I've done some with some crazy ass sounds. You can do so much with. The it. only thing I haven't done with one of these that I want to do is like go on a road trip, you oh, know, yeah. with the fam. Yeah. I, I think it'll be pretty dope, you know. Yeah, that's what I told my girl. This one is actually <laughs> dope, man. You gotta have the high top though. When you get like this kind of uh, body styles, you gotta have the high top. Yeah, the G20s, yeah. I don't like the high they tops. Look a little funky. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't know. I just this one right here is dope. This is perfect. Yeah, this is nice. This van is super nice. Got the big screen. 
Bro, my kids will probably never want to come down this thing. They're <laughs> always one of these. You're going to go on a road trip and they're still going to be in the... In oh, so this is how it, it extends all the way over there. Yeah, I took it all the way back there. So over there, there was a bunch of junk, but now easily, like if I had to squeeze cars, I could fit like nine back there. And what, what, what's up with this OPS? Another giveaway? No, this is one of my guys. Uh, one of my guys is actually gonna, he's pretty sure he's gonna do a giveaway. Oh, okay, he, he does his for, own. For a wet sand and buff, I gotta put all brand new moldings. Uh, we already got the tents done on it. So, a couple little things. And you got wheels for sale? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, these are sold. These I just won in the morning. These are the red lines, right? Uh, I have no clue, honestly. No. Really specialty 17 by 11 brand new wheels and tires. How much? 3500. We're looking for some 17 by 11 Billy Specialties. Yeah. I think the name of this wheel is Red Lines. You can go look them up on Billy Specialties and it's got Toyo tires. Yeah, they look sick. I like these. 315s, 35, 17s. So whoever got an OBS or a two wheel drive, Tahoe, Suburban, anything two wheel drive, come get you a white 17 by 11. Wait, they're not. They should be. No, they they're brand new. Be, but they've been city, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Little, little spot here, little spot there. Yeah, shop looks way bigger now. Yeah, but it's a lot of space. I can keep my toys tucked in the back. Um, and that's how you start. Back. You start from the, you know, the, like, you, you know, when you don't have a shop, right? And then you get a shop, and then you start filling, and then you realize it's not enough shop. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, cause you oh, can't yeah. combine. When I first got in here, bro, I thought it was the biggest shop in the world, and then I outgrew that so fast it was like yeah you can't combine because then you want to put your cars there too because it's yep. your your space and then it just becomes smaller and smaller man mm -hmm. how long do you think they'll take you in this one no more than a week yeah i just really gotta get out these these couple that i've been sitting on get them out and i'll start focusing on this one. all right sure. well whenever man i'm sure i'm gonna have to come pick it up as well so yeah. Just let me know. Yes, sir. Oh, we got that whole front end repainted on that van. Repainted? Yeah. You painted it? No, not us. Who? Body shop. Oh. That guy Galindo. Oh, Galindo? Yeah, I took him. You know, the whole front end was all shit. And then the bezels were uh, completely faded out. All brand new headlights, too. Try to be a one stop shop. You know, he came and he was like, man, do you know somebody that could repaint my front end? I said, don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's crazy because that looks fresh. Yeah. It does look and fresh. this had a lot of texture, this specific plastic. Mm. They took all that Are you doing anything to that bumper or just kind of leave it like that? No, I'll probably leave it. I mean, I got to see once I buff it out. If you can really tell the difference, then I'll probably let's hand it a little bit. It's bad. This is a nice truck, man. I like it. They're I pricey. Know, it's so simple and so... They're pricey, bro. I know. They're pricey. Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of like... You really, really want You can't really something. daily it. Like, you could, but like, you who could, wants to daily this I'm big sure mobile home right here, you know? Yeah. It's like almost driving the dually every day. <laughs> They're just big and it's like, man, you know? Yeah, All right, guys. Yeah, well, man. we'll check him out on the next. He don't have a lot, but that's because he's been remodeling the whole shop. The last couple of weeks. He's been doing all these crazy activities with lights and black paint and... Uh, Hondas. And, <laughs> and what else? Hondas. Oh, yeah, and Honda activities over there, man. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing with that, so I know you guys probably want to know. They're probably most interested right now. What are you doing to the Honda, bro? That's probably what they mm. want to know. That Honda, we were going to sell it. It was supposed to be a quick flip. It came in with, like, a little misfire, so, you know, usually that's supposed to be something quick. But, hell no, bro, that could have been a nightmare. <laughs> But it's just something electrical. That's how it be all and the time. we don't get into the electrical. So, so what you're doing? Looks like the wheels off, though. Yeah, Pops is changing. Uh, there's been so many parts changed on it, so he's kind of taking shit apart. All right, well, you guys know we we rebuild old schools, frame offs and stuff. Ace rebuilds Hondas, as y'all can see. He does <laughs> complete Honda. rebuilds over there on the Honda. Honda specialist. <laughs> For sure. Uh, we're going to let him get back to work, guys. I got to get back anyway to the shop. Just uh, wanted to chop it up because I haven't been here in a while. I told him that I haven't even bought any cars lately that are worth doing any uh, major uh, three stage buff or whatever paint correction, none of that stuff. We do got the 71, but we're still working on that. Trying to work on getting the skirts color match right now. And then uh, I still got to put moldings, trims, all that stuff. So, you know, everything takes time. But yeah, bro, we'll come back and check it out and maybe by then you have some new toys hopefully yeah i'm looking i'm looking oh so you're pretty much taking appointments right now 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm taking walk-ins. I take walk-ins always. I always have. So they don't need an appointment? No appointment ever. So if y'all need a... You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna hassle more trying to get a hold of me. And calling me and texting me and sometimes I don't answer. Sometimes we're so busy here. You can literally just pull up. Look, I want to drop my car off. Consider it done. <laughs> so just pull up, guys. Yeah. You guys want to watch, just pull up. There's no... Uh, no appointment needed. It's first here. come, first serve. Monday through Friday, 8 to 6. And Saturday, uh, 8 to 4. And then Sundays, we're closed. So. Okay. Anytime within that, come pull up, drop off the car, whatever you need. Just don't come in here with no rush. That's the only thing that I don't need nobody calling me. What's going on with my car? When is my car going to be ready? We take our time. We do everything the right way. And we try to make sure we get down to every single little thing. So as long as you're not in a rush, drop it off now. Come get you a mobile... I mean, not Mo. <laughs> Come get you the Ace Touch. <laughs> I keep thinking you're Mo, man. That's how we met the guy. I met the guy being a mobile wash. Yeah, right? It's washing cars at your shop. <laughs> yeah, that's how I met him. But no, now he don't. Now actually. he don't be mobile, man. <laughs> Knowing that we need a mobile wash out there in Joliet, this guy. Uh, Where's that van? Oh, it's right here. Look at it, guys. This is this is the famous mobile Ace Wash. That's the one that got everything started. It's still there. It's still loaded up. It's still. If I really had to go do a mobile wash somewhere, if somebody called me like, hey, I got. <laughs> Three hundred dollars. We can wash this car. It's back. It's it's back running. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I put the. I changed the motor on it. Never changed the motor. Changed the motor. I blew the motor and I think I put the hell and back with it. Man, you might as well just start. I know. I know. I bought a new pressure washer, a vacuum, all types of shit. I never ran it. Just been sitting. For show. Sure. Well, guys, there's his number and there's his Instagram. If y'all want to do uh, some information call, give him a call or hit him up on Instagram.